uh, old RAF bases. Oh, anything, anything weird happened in an abandoned mental institution? Have you ever had anything weird happen? Absolutely. <laughs> so um, before before moving down to London, I I lived in Lincoln, and so was there was one uh, which was in Sleaford, just outside Lincoln, which we which we went to, and we went possibly um, possibly not the best idea, but we went on Halloween because I mean it's just one of those things like well, what's the best time to go? Um, so yeah, we went. We went uh, on Halloween, and it was, you know, fairly fairly easy to access. Where certain parts of it had demolished and rebuilt, but kind of the central core of it uh, hadn't been touched. So there was um, some of the foundations had been ripped out and whatnot, but there was there's plenty of like connected buildings. And so we were, we were going through um, as you do when when you ever whenever you first like enter a building, you're always on edge. No matter how many times you do it, you're always on ice for the first time. That's where you get the adrenaline from. But we we went through a few rooms and we found one where there was just like actually a slightly related. There were a load of board games, which is a bit strange. They were just like old classic board games kind of strewn about. Someone probably just dumped their rubbish there. But there was in the middle of it there was a um, Ouija board. So uh, and it had clearly been used. Like it was, it was like set out. So we thought, that's that's a bit weird. But we carried on, and we started going up some stairs um, up onto the the next floor. And we realised that we'd already seen them, but there were more and more of them. And there were tea lights, and there had been tea lights scattered around in these rooms, but now they were lining the stairs, and they were on either side of the stairs going upwards. And and we were just like, okay, this 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 is getting even weirder. And it hit, it started to hit dusk. So at this point, all the crows were like really roused, and they were just Cawing. flying everywhere, cawing, just to add to the atmosphere. So we we were ascending up these stairs, flanked by tea lights, um, and we reached like one of the like the, the great halls, and just scrawled up the walls. I mean, this it was probably about 12, 15 foot high walls, scrawled up the walls with the words, the harrowing, and just loads of like uh, Bible scripture, just like scrawled on the walls, like um, arch- archangel something, like forgive me, like, and all this weird, weird stuff. And we just, we were just like, this is getting a little bit too much now. Time to so, go home. Yeah, so we were just like, maybe maybe we'll explore the rest of it in, in daylight. Uh, so we kind of like made our way out and thought, oh, well, there's a there's a church next kind of like next door to it that's, um, again, it started being, it's been developed and hadn't. So we decided to go in there, separate ourselves from the uh, from all the all the crows. Uh, I mean, that didn't help either, because um, in the middle of this empty empty church was um what we at first we thought was like a gurney but it was like a uh, found out it was a massage bed uh, like a massage table um and we and we walked in and we just looked and we saw a, we saw a human figure on a bed with a sheet over it and we was like i'm not going near that <laughs> and so we stood there like kind of circling around it like waiting for something and in the end, one of us just walked forwards and was like, no, it's, it's just a mannequin. Like, it's missing a leg. And it was just... I, I feel like it doesn't even seem real now. Like, And I feel like it's a, just a ridiculous story to tell. But all of those all of those things happened at the, like, in the same night. And it was on Halloween. It was, it was... It was just kind of off the wall. That is amazing. Um, I don't know if you want to include this bit, but it turns out the story behind all the um, all the scripture on the walls was they were filming like a, um, a documentary type thing where they um, they people had to live in there, so they shut people in. And they had to live in there with like limited food, and they wanted to see how people um, would react. How people yeah reacted to each other, but they also planted a few actors in there to kind of stir things up a bit 
Um, and and one night they decided to do a séance, so they were all like all, all in a circle, and one of the people taking part leapt across the circle and started throttling an actor. Oh wow! Uh, and she had to be hospitalised. Um, and I don't think the film ever got released because they, they had to have the you know the consent of everyone to be released, and I think the the lady that was attacked never never consented to it be being released that was the reason behind all all the graffiti and all the all the scrawling and you think that would explain it and put you on ease but that that makes you feel even weirder the fact that yeah the seance caused the yeah, uh, an assault I, to happen that's... and i think i i don't think that was recent enough to explain the tea lights and the ouija board I, no, I what that, that might have been would be some sort of occultist or something hearing about what had happened and going and trying to do try and reconnect or something with the with whatever it was that, that did yeah. it. Yeah. 